<laughs> Dude, where are where are we? All right, guys, we've reached the destination, Kent's Market. This is the first step to my how-to video. All right, so, you know, some people like to use these little machines right here. Come on, boys. Alright guys, so we've made it to the guacamole section. I think we have to find the perfect guacamoles that this Kent's Market has to offer. Make sure they're really squishy. Kind of knock on, knock, knock on wood. Someone uh, speaking to you? That's decent. Pretty good. Oh, no way. All right, guys, got the guacamoles. You need three to make the perfect guac. Road jam. You want to know the next three ingredients? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Salt, pepper, and hot sauce. Do you already have those at your house, though? No, sir. Oh. I have to buy them. Oh, and one thing. You also want to get the most expensive products as you can. Because remember, guys, most expensive, most quality. See, I told you, we were just here. All right, guys. So this is some sriracha sauce. I think it's spicy enough, but look at that price. Three dollars? It's not quality. Four twenty-nine. Now this is some quality stuff. This thing's kind of sick. All right, guys, we made it to our next destination. All right, guys, natural sea salt. This is the good stuff. Do not get any other kind of salt. Pure ground black pepper. guys time to check out where'd your car go dude oh uh they caught on to me i'm really not disabled so. oh insert cash or select payment type you think that's expensive enough for insert cash or pay the quality i mean i think that's the perfect amount okay you want to spend at least 20 dollars so i'm confused man what's up well, you said this is like a family secret recipe, but it's literally just salt, pepper, and hot sauce. Hey, forget about the one special thing. Yeah? Secret ingredient. 
What's that? Do we need to buy it? Again? Go find out, buddy. All right. So where are we headed now? To the kitchen. Like your secret special guac kitchen, or? Yes, sir. Is, is it just your house? the guacamole kitchen so three steps in this main second step is change into chef clothing sanitized kitchen pretty dirty yeah yeah stuff everywhere sorry man. i would kind of like yeah we need, to, we need to clean it up yeah, yeah. like what are you, what's this dude i don't know man Knows, man. Final step, put all ingredients on table. And that's it. That's it. That's it, man. Are you sure? Pretty sure that's it. Oh, all right, guys. First step, change into your chef clothes. <laughs> All right, now that we're in the chef clothing, this is what you want to wear if you want to be professional. Can you have shoes on? Uh, preferably no shoes, no socks, but in this case. Next step, sanitize the kitchen. Clean this shiz all up, right? But first, What's up, man? You okay? Yeah. I was just testing the soap if it was expired or not. It might be. Oh, yeah. Done. Yeah, yeah. Sure. All right. Next step, place all your ingredients on the table. All right. Next step, making the guacamole. Uh, I think we need a bowl, so find one. Looks pretty good. What is that doing there? Wonder where that came from. Sorry. Why do you do that? All right, next step. Take one of your guacamoles. Crack it open. There you have it. Guacamole gloop. Place it into the bowl. Next one. You want a cutting board? Uh, yeah, probably not. All right, I know what I have to do. 
perfect cut. A lot of people... Come look at this. Come look at this. Now, a lot of people don't like the guacamole peanuts. But what people don't know is guacamole peanuts actually provide you with much nutrients, vitamins A, B, C, S, T, T U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Leave them in my guacamole. If your guacamole isn't messy, it's not guacamole. Oh. So now what we're gonna do is take our guacamole and we're gonna mash it up. Now, a lot of people don't like to use their hands, but it's how you get it to the right texture, right? All right, guys, so now we're gonna add our ingredients to the guacamole blend. So we're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper, and it's really not like an exact measurement. You can do as much as you would like. Let's add a little bit of salt. Salt really just brings out the flavor in the guacamole. You have a whisk in your little pouch there. Oh, you can even see that. Why is, it, why is it so dark in here, dude? Oh, uh, it's just a lot Well, added some salt. Just as much as you prefer, just kind of go off. Now let's add some pepper. All right, pepper's added. I think it needs a little bit more salt. Whisk it up. You know, this is my family's recipe, so please do not disrespect. <laughs> Sorry. Forgiven little boy. All right. Salt, pepper added. Next ingredient. The hot sauce. Hey, you're smiling at me. I don't think so. Oh yeah. We want it nice and red. Nice and red, but a little bit of green in there as well. Right. <sighs> Doesn't look like a hawk, man. Dude, look, you gotta tell me right now. I've been waiting this whole video. You you hired me to just follow you around and so you can make this special guacamole, but I've yet to see the special ingredient. Oh. So tell me. You wanna know the secret ingredient? Yeah! Funny you may ask. It's the next step. Cheese grater. The Cheese. secret ingredient is we are gonna season our guacamole with avocado. Oh my gosh. Well, it's the secret ingredient. That was it? What do you think it was? Look, dude. First, you pay me 10 bucks to film this video for you. Drag me around like, while well, you look like an idiot for this special guacamole. What is this? This is a joke, right? No. Where are we? Where do you even live? Man, my ancestors came from Mexico. Mexico? It's disrespectful, buddy. Now this guacamole is the best guacamole you've tasted in your life. Sick. Look, if it's so good, why don't you try it? I will. First is plating. That's the next step. Guys, next step. Might be the final step. Who really knows? Plating. As Gordon Ramsay says, 
plating is key. Really want to get that lime juice in there. Just for presentation, nothing else. It doesn't taste like anything. There you have it. Guacamole. Alright guys, here's the final product. Dude, the best, looks, the best. disgusting. You disrespecting that guacamole? I mean, I'm just saying, look at it. You, you can't be serious with this, right? This guacamole recipe has come across the border. Why? Delicious. Yeah, Some prove it. Say. Prove it. Tortilla chip, homemade guacamole. Nothing better. Nothing better in life. Nothing. I mean, I, there's a lot better than what, what I'm seeing here right now. Literally anything is better than this, I'm sure. All right, here's the taste test, guys. Is it good? Let's find out. I really love this guacamole. All right guys, thanks for making it to the end and watching my how to make guacamole video.